Hey guys, as you can see, I have built some sheds on my farm and I thought it would be cool to design their interiors differently since you can place furniture in them. I was inspired by some posts I saw on Reddit and for this video, I'm going to be designing a library shed. So, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, the, the interior of the shed is pretty plain. So for this video, I'm going to be using the CJB item spawner mod because I'm lazy and I'll put the link to the download in the info box below. Okay, so we're going to start with some windows and I chose some with curtains because I thought that it would really give a cosy feel to the entire library. And so I'm just going to place it in the center of the room. I didn't want to have too many windows in case it felt too bright. Yep. So next, I'm going to add some bookcases because what's a library without books, right? So I chose some normal ones and some smaller ones that seemed that they could be for children's books. And when I placed them, I made sure that there was enough space for a person, for your character to walk in between them. So in front of the window, I'm actually going to place a red couch because I was really going to go with the woody, reddish, kind of brownish theme to really make it seem very warm and inviting. Yep. So then I actually thought that this lower lower right corner of the, the library could be for like, kind of a children's activity or play area where they could really just sit and enjoy a book. Yeah, because most of the library most of the libraries I've actually been to have something like that. So in the top left corner I'm going to add the furniture and a wallpaper flooring catalogue. I thought that it really go well with it because uh, it has books on it <laughs> and I couldn't find it okay, so it's just gonna go in the, the upper left corner there so what did I do next uh, yes yeah, so uh, I really wanted to go with the kind of educational view so I I made I kind of selected a world map and a globe the globe's gonna go in the table yeah so here I I kind of put some armchairs and a tea table for really the library users to sit and enjoy. Yeah, I wanted lots of sitting space. And then of course some lamps to provide lighting. And you're gonna see how it looks at night later. It's, it, it, really, it looks nice at night. Yeah. I'm sorry if you hear my laptop fan, it's pretty loud. Okay. So yeah, then the lamps gonna go beside the chairs obviously because yeah, that's where you need the light the most. Yep, and then one there because there's an empty space there. Okay, so next we are gonna just place pine. I really like these pines that you can get in in the kind of the decorating area. Yeah, and then some plants to kind of brighten up the entire library a bit. Oh, I really like the bonsai trees. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite house plants. So that's just gonna go on some tables next to the to the front of the room. Yep. So there's the coffee tables going in. And the plants are gonna go on top. Yep, one pine next to the bookcase. And another on the table. And I don't know why but my bonsai tree disappeared. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this area I wanted to make as a children's area. So I'm just gonna place a rug on the floor next to the door, keeping with that kind of red woody theme. Yep. So next, I'm going to settle the wallpaper and the flooring. And I really wanted to keep to the reddish brown theme, so I chose the, the kind of reddish wallpaper with the, the brown sort of lower half. And I really love those wallpapers that you can get in Studio Valley. So, yeah, I really love the kind of accent, that kind of half wood handling they have on it. So, then for the flooring, we're just gonna go with a normal wood, wood, birch, kind of, what's it called? Lacquered floor. Yep. So, on top of the bookcases, I'm just gonna add some ceiling flags to make it look really kind of festive and cheery. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really liked it. So those are the same flags going up. Four of them. Okay, now all that's left is the, the table and the, the chairs at the front of the room. So 
Where is it now? Oh yeah, yeah. I put some paintings and this um, kind of shield thing on the wall to fill up the space beside the world map. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the model ship too. And that's the puzzle table. I thought it'd be cool because it's kind of like really kitty and it really suits the whole children's corner kind of idea. So that's the table going in. And I wanted to choose these cute chairs. Yup, those pinks and blues and greens. Yeah. Okay, so that's the chairs going in. Mm, we're almost done. Yeah, I'm going to need a table to put that shape on. So I think I found an end table. Oak or walnut. Yeah, that's the bear. Okay, so you can actually um, rotate things by right clicking. So that's what I did with the, the end table. I kind of rotated it and in order to do that I had to kind of place it on top of the 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 coffee table and I don't know why but it just happens like that. Yep. So that's the end table to put my model ship on and the plant goes back and the ship goes on. Okay. So that's for that's about it guys. So I'll show you how it looks at night. Oh yeah, I also place some torches to really light it up at night. I know it's like an open flame and stuff but just for the sake of aesthetics. So that's about it guys and I will show you how it looks at night. Thanks for watching!